Hello there, welcome to another video. This is a game I've asked to take a look at by Hunter here, and he sent this one to me. Uh, the map is going to be mud float, so looking around, uh, it's pretty swampy. Seems to be tons of like shore fish all over the place. Dianoga, I'm not too sure what that is, but uh, it looks a bit like Nessie that we have up here in Scotland. Um, it's called mud float, there's this horrible mud terrain that probably stops you building command centers bad times but there's a lot of resources on the map you can just if you look at the mini map you can see all the scattered nova and ore piles and stuff so if it does go late game there's a lot of resources for people to allocate into like higher tech units and have some fun with those and getting into the teams and stuff we've got uh, hunter here playing the sand consortium in the teal and uh, we've got soup juice on resistance here in the yellow We've got Russian Blunt on the green, Wookiees, and last on that team we've got Frost here in the red, Geonosians. And hang up to the next player is going to be Kissem on Black Sun. Black Cap Arnie on the grey Imperial Remnants. Fluffy Rabbit on the purple, Royal Naboo. And then John the Late on the Confederacy in the blue here. So yeah, a lot of resources on the map. Um, there's quite a lot of carbon, I guess. I think, like, ratio-wise, it's probably more, like, over a Nova to carbon on this map. There's decent amounts, I suppose. It's just these tiny clusters. In the center's got a lot, lot more than on the outskirts of the map. It's interesting. Um, looking at the field, there seems to be a lot of nerfs, to be honest. I mean, John's got two nurseries there. Have a look at Hunter's account. 13. Hunter never tends to have a million nerfs. He's usually having a whinge that someone has a million nerfs. So 13 seems to be the, the average, I would assume. Maybe 10 or so. Could be extra spawns in the corner. I don't really see anything like that. Yeah, the carbons are going to suck, I would have thought. Looking around. You probably want to play this like that you try and get into the center as soon as possible, really. It's going to be such an open map, though. Um, like, tech level 3, like, strike max, are going to have great access. Early rushing looks like it'd be quite good as well. Just because everything's it's so hard to wall everything off. You're so close to one another. Well, that's no distance at all. Um, turrets could be built as many as you want really on a map like this so you could supplement your rush with turret so you could do like a hybrid rush of like a tower rush with a few troopers to sort of guarantee your turrets stop any workers getting close and bashing them down i think i would lean more into turrets on a map like this because you normally don't do that on a normal map because you would have no ore later on and being wing in a team game you're normally getting battered by uh Airing pockets and stuff, and you need your ore later on to build your turret, your like anti air turrets, get your upgrades for that. And you want to get shields and fortresses later as well, You're, you tend to be constantly fighting. So, some berries for the players to lean into, and just a few of these tubas to eat. All in all, not a ton of food. Um, I wonder how much this shallow spawning around the command center messes up farming. Because from my understanding, you shouldn't be able to build farms over this sort of separation between the shallows and the, uh, well, the mud, since it's called mud flow. Maybe you can, though. I don't think so. You tend to not be able to build anything on these little outskirt bits, at least overlapping them. You can build them on either end. There's a few caddies to hunt here as well. But yeah, I do expect to see people rushing here. And as I say that, we got a troop center and a power core on the way for Hunter here. Sentry post for John the Late here, but nothing indicating that he's going to be on the... Uh... Hunter complaining that he's killed his Cadu. The sentry post is going to give him vision, but he should really just use his scout to go over here and see that there's two troop centers on the way. And he's getting his own troop center now, but there's a mounty out running between his two sentry posts and going straight to his base. Look at the other side of the map. 
not really too much indication of anything there from Frost, and neither from Kissam. Oh, Troop Center from Kissam, so he's showing some hints of aggression here. And that amount you're going to get into the berries here of John. And this worker's going to be aptly pulled back. And he's going to have to struggle to get a power core down. Still got his carbon workers going right now, but the Mounties have set their sights on them. And it's kind of a race for him to get up to three trooper recruits to kind of push away all this Mountain aggression. Unfortunately, the timing that this has come and the way the map's worked out with all these extra nerfs and stuff. Hunter is on his way to T2. So there will be a follow-up to this. And he's probably going to get a bit of a troop lead here on John. Two trooper recruits are out. Hunter are not really paying attention. He probably should have taken the trade with them as soon as they came out. Maybe kill off one of them. There's three now. But he's going to lose both his mounties. If he managed to kill off the two, it would really like guarantee that like his follow-up would do a lot of damage. And uh, he's been a little bit slow, like rallying these across. And I think he's probably gonna give John a little bit too much time here just to sort of stabilize because he's hanging around again with the troopers. And we'll have a look at the other side. A few mounties just sitting at home here for Kissam. Doesn't look like he's really sent them out. Some farms dropping for frost, um, got some workers on ore, these two carbon spots. But it would probably be better if Kassem was actually attacking them with the units right now. Since if he scouts you can see that there's no troop center or anything like that, so he doesn't really need to go for like a big element of surprise here. I'm now walking through John's troops here, John being probably a bit too ambitious after all that. He's only on one troop centre and he's just thrown away all the troops that he's built up off of that and now he's going to have to scramble to get some turrets up to defend himself. Is he building one turret here? I'm building a mine. I don't think I've really seen much of mines. He's building them around the tower. Like He's trying to hope that he's going to walk onto them I suppose. Very likely in this instance. Hmm. You can pass them down with the workers, though they're very low health. They're both one shot. Could just throw the worker out and slap them. Uh, we do see that attack launched by Kassem now onto Frost. Pretty much stopping Frost from building his tech buildings to go T3. He ended up cancelling that mech factory as well. Hopefully he doesn't want to lose any of his workers here. This one's going to go down. I've not really noticed this little second carbon that Frost has got just right behind the first one. Um, he's going to try and get these double turrets up here and then go for his tech buildings. It's a huge sort of reaction here. But there are troopers on the way so not a bad reaction really. At least for his current state here, and he's had all these workers on ore as well, so the turrets are, again, the map that it is with all this extra ore, the turrets are going to be nothing. Turrets are probably ideal, really, with how open the map is. Go T3, get them up to medium turrets, get a few of the turret upgrades, really help you defend yourself. I think people could make a lot more defensive forts, be aggressive more with forts and stuff, just because there's so much ore. And naturally, if you can afford all that static defense like that, why is Fluffy Rabbit rushing him? <laughs> Just noticed that. <laughs> These are not John Stroops. Classic Fluffy. Refuses to play the uh, pocket role properly. It's certainly causing Hunter a lot of grief right now. He's going to need Soup Juice to uh, help him out here. Soup Juice is tech level 3 now though, so there should be Strike Max or Air on the way. Hopefully, to bank, or rather, bail Hunter out here. Isn't that funny what the mind does when you think bank and bail? Synonymous. Synonymous words. Bail the bank is out. So, yeah, things looking a bit 
dicey here for our, is that a turret? I don't sense you're supposed to be better if it was a turret. Try and get the spaceport up. Looks like he's trying to get himself to T3, but we do see some air here from Brush and Blunt. Not too sure what Soup Juice is up to. It does have the rally points out there. Yeah, I'm not looking, I'm looking at the wrong building actually. He does though. There's a fighter on the way. And Frost seems to have sort of stabilised himself. That Brush has sort of petered out here. Looks kind of healthy. Sam's got a few grenade troopers. He's actually gone and hit the pocket here, this rush. Catching Russian Blunt's Nova workers, and that's a huge loss for him being double airbase. He's not completely off of Nova, and he lost like three or four workers as well. So that's huge damage here. And given the nature of this map, with how the tree clusters are, and it being open, there's more kills waiting for him here. Have to rely, rely on his air to clean this up. And where he's caught it, he should clean it up before he suffers any more casualties, really. And now pretty much bailed out from the double rush he's endured. Oh, there is a turret now. Not one of the ores. It's not a huge, huge loss though, because there's so many other ores to get. Looking like a very scrappy, messy game so far. Very chaotic map. Creates a chaotic game. Yeah, Hunter pretty much trapped in T2, I would say, at this point. He's been making a few more troops. He's got about 100 standing food. Doesn't really have a great food economy. Does have the nerves to lean on, but he's probably going to want a lot more farms. I think it would be great as uh, shore fishing as well. You can see the fluffy rabbit is continuing to rush here. And we've got flag cap Arnie, which is like the other pocket coming over here as well with his fighters. Really going hard and trying to kill Hunter out of this game. And the cross mapping here. Pull these fighters back. Come and clean these two up in Fluffy Rabbit's base. He doesn't really have any anti here. He's still T2 as well. I'm not sure what this wall is they're trying to do behind uh, John's base. Secret carbon. The other side of things, though, it looks like Kasem's just absolutely died. This is probably why you don't want to be cross mapping your fighters, Arnie. And, uh, yeah, they've got Geonosian warriors on him, fighters on him as well. It is not looking good over here. The uh, fighters would definitely help to clean this up. They're on their way, but the damage is probably done here. Fair play to Kissam, he's managed to get a lot of strike, uh, strike anti-air troopers out here as well. But there are strike mechs from Frost. Frost pretty much just going strike mechs, Geno's and warriors, and trying to kill them off completely. And they do kind of like look at all the workers that have died here. A bit of a uh, drop in the ball there from his pocket, letting this happen. Too hungry for the uh, hunter blood here on the other side of the map. So, kind of a big advantage for um, Hunter's team now, because Kisem is pretty much just very dead. Looks like he's only really got his uh, farm workers alive. And did make it to tech level 3, though. That's actually huge for him, having the mech destroyer here. So at least he can protect these workers now. We've got an anti-air turret up here. He's not completely, completely dead. But he's going to struggle here, and you can see the Frost going to be dropping command centers and maybe going to boom up a little bit. And if he follows this, I think this the uh, harass up with like a forward or something, it's going to be very difficult for them to defend that. See, Hunter's still stabilizing over here. He's got a lot of farms now, so he should be able to get himself 
clicked up to tech level 3. There's the 800 food. Should have his two buildings by now. Yeah. And off to T3 he goes. The John is getting ahead of him to T3. But he's had the much better of it with all the uh, team involvement here. Don Suit looks like he's been quite consistent with his harass now. He's cleaned up everything in Hunter's base. Remember he pulled Arnie's fighters back as well with his harassment and now he's looking for angles to harass here on John. It would be great if you found the uh, secret carbon over here. The secret ore. So they don't have much recourse for defending themselves from these fighters. Rallied pummels here so to be honest, that's pretty good from Frost because it's forced him to make three mech destroyers when he sorely needs a command center. It looks like Arnie is going to be quite aggressive here, these workers. Maybe going to get like a forward fortress. Maybe just to keep Kissam alive now. He's going to build a power core. So much ore that you could definitely justify getting that. Strike Mike's being rallied here by John, trying to keep up the aggression on Hunter here, as he's still in tech level 2. And Forward Fortress here, pretty reasonable given all the ore on the map. And Hunter does make it to T3 now. And lots and lots of fighters going around for Russian Blunt here. He's going up to four air bases. Interesting, I don't know if he can really sustain four air bases, didn't have a lot of Nova workers, but hey. Maybe it will make up for some lapses in macro. He's getting in here, he's got a lot more fighters than army. And he's gonna take the trade here and they're just gonna die almost for free. And I'm only gonna be in a world of pain. Army who I normally see with like a million anti-air turrets on the map with tons of ore has no anti-air turrets. I get he's got his own standing air force, but still. Desperately gonna be building one here where it's pretty much got all his eco right up against the edge of the map here. It's quite nice with the double Nova piles. Or triple Nova piles. It does get that turret down, but these fighters, there's quite a lot of them. They could kill off a couple of workers while dodging. Well, the said fighters are not a counter, just well, anti air turrets are not a counter, they're just a deterrent. Uh, a lot of aggression here with these rallied mech destroyers, I'm not really sure I rate the idea because it's a fortress and can't really contest it. But it'd be better to get his own fortress up. He's pretty much been taunted by the fort, he's building a heavy weapons factory. And they're going for blood here. Managed to find a place to put a command center. Two of them. That's pretty good. The other side of things is still Pummel's being rallied, and there's that fortress we talked about. It's been dropped by Arnie here. Lament destroyers and a mobile. So the fortress is a good uh, makeup for letting Kissam die. Because it's pretty much going to take all the aggression here from Frost. Almost like he's an AI player when he sees the fortress and he just must attack it. Rather than really just sort of go around. It's going to give Arnie a lot of breathing room. If I happen to worry about it, I'm completely dying for a little while. Yeah, this is not looking good from Hunter here. This mech destroyer is just walking into Mounties. I'm not sure what they're shooting. There's a lot of forces here for John. Seems like the most tanky uh, mech destroyers I've ever seen. Maybe they last a long time with those mounties right on top of them. There's a Magna Guard here out of the fortress, the unique unit of the uh, Confederacy and expanding fronts. And Arnie has hit T4, I would say. He does love to take four a bit quicker than the other players and try and get things set up aggressively. They'll be making interceptors. Still chasing all this air down. These Magna Guards cleaning everything up here with the Strike Max. That's going to be what, another fortress, maybe? No? Oh, yeah. And 
Let's see, John just sort of try to strangle Hunter out of the center here. He's got command center over here as well. So it's going to be very difficult to clear up. A few mounties here from Kassem trying to catch these units from Frost to kill them off. He definitely really needs, just needs to get himself more command centers in, in this instance when he falls behind like this. Just has to let Arnie do what he can and he needs to focus on just booming up until he's a bit more, that like, he catches up a little bit. Because if he keeps making units on like one command center, he's just useless. He's going to get outscaled very, very quickly by everyone else in the game. I think the guards here are taking a lot of abuse. Really messing up these troopers though. Double anti-air trooper push here from Fluffy and John, killing off the air from Soup. Trying to bail Hunter out here. And tons of next time, it's really piling on now. Despite what's happened with Kissam, it's not looking too good for this team right now. We do have uh, tech level 4 now for Russian Blunt, this could make all the difference right now. A lot of fast fighters here heading across the map. We're going straight into Fluffy Rabbit's base. He's getting attacked by Nessie right now. I'm gonna have to. You really need to get like a fortress down. So much ore. Your best bet. We've got one here. Maybe he wants to get one here as well. Best bet is to just double fort maybe and then just boom backwards a little bit. Because they're throwing a lot of units out. You can find it. Uh, it's almost invisible on the map here. And lots of workers dying here for Fluffy Rabbit. Having to hit the bell here. Seems to have a pretty good boom going. Got a few command centers, just a lot of workers everywhere. But around here, these guys can't all really get into the command center. There'll be a lot dying. Requesting more help other than air here. He doesn't really seem to have much of his own units right now, though. All been killed off. We're feeding a lot of troopers into these Magna lads. We just seem to two tap them. And the air now going to be looking for John's workers. Surprisingly, not touched Arnie, who I think is going to end up going through this side very quickly. He's in the Imperial Remnants as well, which got those very overtuned mech destroyers in the current state of the game. Because the uh, piercing attack hits too many units, I think. At least width wise. So there's too much damage to like troopers and things like that. Classic Fluffy Rabbit Pummel, just doesn't know where it's going, who it's meant to be with. Seems to be. Is it on patrol? Where is it going? And we've got two fortresses now. That should be a lot better for Hunter to stall this push out because John stuck in T3 and the T3 units pretty much suck at dealing with fortresses. Like for your artillery to kill one off, you're going to need like 10 to 12 or something like that. Quite a lot of them. Just up the DPS. And you can just repair your fortresses for days on this map as well. So you see a standing force of mech stars and cheeky assault mechs sliding out here. They look a bit weird, don't they? Doesn't really have the uh, the upgrade yet though, because it would change their attacks to like purple, I believe. But he does have a heavy mech destroyer upgrade, whereas Frost here is just on normal mech destroyers. But he does have the artillery, and the artillery are a huge differential in these fights. Such easy access, good DPS against uh, mech destroyers. 
what is Russian blunt up to now? He seems to be doing a lot on this side of the map, cross mapping too much when he really should have been raiding Arnie. He actually missed a good chance, a good window to kill off a lot of workers here from Arnie. And now he has the advanced anti air turrets. And given all the ore on the map, you could pretty much put an advanced anti air turret everywhere. So, fighters are going to get outscaled pretty quickly by the static defense. We're probably going to want to see a transition into artillery. This fight's still ongoing. Both players got shields, but Frost's not for too long because nothing's touching that cannon, and that cannon's about to kill it off. But he does have a lot, lot more here on the ground, so we should be able to swarm the forces of Arnie and maybe even take his shield down. Although the fortress is actually blocking the shots from the artillery onto the shield. Just got that cannon off. Oh, a few Mounties here popping out for Kissam. They're going to catch this army, and this army has nothing to deal with Mounties, so that's a huge loss for him. Could really use the fighters from Russian on this side, playing this side. Particularly they have a soup being T4 as well, but again, still flying over to the side of the map. There's been too much cross mapping, I think, from uh, both teams. They would really be bailing uh, Frost out right now, and you could kill off the cannons, and you could force some anti air turrets here from Arnie. It does have that upgrade now, you can see the purple shots, so these units are effectively quite broken, I would say, in the current state of the game. Way too strong. Try to kill more workers here in Fluffy Rabbit's base. Maybe even trying to get him to rage quit or something here. And he keeps raiding him. From the other side of the map. Uh, things are not looking good for Frost now, with no help here. I like to face the, uh, the boom to pop up. Might be better off just, just spamming command centers all down this way and just booming crazily. And then later, when Arnie gets overwhelmed or something like that, you can slide back in with a huge economy and start contributing with units. Yeah, they're just nuts, these. Is that normal damage against buildings as well? I don't know. Imba Darlix. Not really much land being gained back and forth here between John and Hunter. Both still in T3. I'm all coming out trying to kill off the uh, shield generator, but a lot of forts to go through. Uh, I know we talked about the ore, but there's extra bits of Nova all over the map as well. Don't see much uh, high Nova units yet though. A lot of heavy weapons factory has been dropped here by one. You can see those uh, ranged artillery, the 12 ranger art. Could do quite well to hold this maybe. Might be the one thing that can do it. Interceptor fighter gang here. Players need to maybe do a little bit better of getting into the centre of the map. That's where all the juicy res is. Plus all that carbon that they're going to need as well. A 
few units here from Fluffy filtering in, trying to kill off the units of Hunter, but there's really enough that fortress is going to go down here. And um, we got surging forward, flag cap Barney coming in here. Still not really any units out of Russian. He's built all these buildings to make them, but not seeing any. He's got his air here to maybe slow this push down. Some decent damage to them here. Or maybe wants to pull those back. Maybe I'll kiss him, try to build an anti air turret for him, but he's going to be trapped in T3, so it's not going to be advanced turrets. Again, probably better to just put that into command centers. And just let Arnie fight. Continuing the trend across mapping here are some attackers from Soup Juice. And Hunter pretty much seems to be the only one on this side with units now, and that's causing some issues for John and Rabbit. There seems to be like one of every unit popping out now and again, but. Bread and butter, Mech Destroyer Strike Mech here, doing well with some cannons. Pushing ahead, and there's nothing to really threaten the cans. Cans could be killing this fortress right now. There we go. Already miraculously been pushed back for a little bit by that air, but where the hell are these guys going? This have the 12 range, but it doesn't look like he wants to use it as he's just walking into the army here through mounties. And he's going to want to have his own fighters back again to keep his artillery alive here. With all these mounties popping out now. What Arnie is up to right now. Just have abandoned the idea of pushing for a little while. And his team, in their current state, definitely needs him to just go and win that side. Because there's not really much of a standing army here. But John's still in T3 right now. Like it maybe did get caught by that fighter earlier. Kill off a few of his workers here. I'm looking that well boomed. The hunter's economy is looking a lot more stable. There's a mountain he's running in, but there's a lot of strike mechs there, and there is a shield. Some crusaders from Fluffy Rabbit as well. Not shielded ones though, even though they aren't a shield and they're starting to get a shield now, but they're not the, uh, the elites. They get their personal shielding units. Talk about Mounties running to their deaths. Here are some of Frosts. And we got some decent trade for these guys now. The way that this map works, their uh, trade route's pretty open. It's quite nice. Not much like collision for them, you know. Don't really see that on the other side. A lot of air getting in and raiding. But I think if people have a bit more experience of this map and they see how much ore there is, there could just be advanced turrets everywhere. Again, Hunter is still surging forward here, and it looks like Arnie's woken up again. And I'm going to be pushing here with some of the bounties of Kissam. Trying to stop Russian from getting like, any semblance of an army together. This guy's just getting spawn camped, and the terrain looks kind of awful for artillery as well. By the way that this little shallows with water works. And all the building layout, there's not really much space for them to be at. Best bet would be to put them here, behind the two fortresses. There's quite a lot of salt mechs out now here for Arnie. 
And some cannons behind them. Gonna be taking down these buildings. Shield generator going down, or at least one of them. And interceptors versus anti-air mobiles. Not the finest trade. Nowhere near fighters in terms of killing these things. And Arnie has actually built his own fleet here of interceptors. Doesn't have the shields, but he's got them maybe just to kill off air. Or some air cruisers or something like that. Anything that's going to annoy his army here. He continues to march to this side. And on the other side, it's, nothing's really changed here. Hunters just slowly making incremental progress here on the side. Uh, Sip Juice supplementing that with his own fortresses and his air here. So it's maybe just really a race here. See which side can win first. Arnie does have the stronger looking army. And uh, Civ on paper at the moment with these uh, broken Might Stars. have a lot of population tied up in these interceptors though. Were they not, I could maybe uh, throw a few AMDs out this side, I suppose. Because they seem to be really struggling to get any defense at all together. It's pretty much just been static defense stalling for them. Although on this side it's somewhat the same. But there seems to be a bit of forces popping out now for Frost. Seems to have taken a bit of a breather and set up all these cargo traders. Uh, air cruiser, it's going to be pretty annoying for this army to deal with. There is air nearby though from Soup Juice, if Soup can fly over and kill it. Can maybe clean up these mounties as well. But not quite gotten the memo yet, going to be another shot from the air cruiser on these forces. There it's ping now. Fighters from Fluffy looking to guard that. And more interceptors here. Again, not really much on the ground to deal with this army. And the assault mech count is getting larger and larger. And another feature of there being so much ore, they can just shield crawl as this army goes and it's got so much HP that uh, getting doubled is uh, huge and it trades so well as well with the damage output of the assault mechs so it's really difficult to remove this oh. a big attack of mounties here I don't think they're going to do too well though, because of the splash damage of the assault mechs and then the added splash from the mech stars. Additionally, there's not really anything behind that push either. There's no um, artillery getting shots in or assault mechs from Frost. A lot of workers here. Never seen so many workers building a shield generator on the front line. Some air needs to bring forward. Arnie is still marching through slowly. Some of the Mounties from Kissam invading Frost's lands here, fighting the Mounties of Russian. His army has been a little bit overextended at this point, so he's got two armies now, really. Pushing two bits at the same time. Frost not really fighting with Russian here, though, so Russian just running in. Frost sitting in the shield. It's not really getting any damage done. I think they're going to need things like grenadiers, assault mechs, air cruisers and the 12 range artillery, like a good amount of it. Pick this army apart, but never really getting anything together. 
And we see a lot of strength, heavy strike mechs now. Is he missing an upgrade? And they're not getting an extra two damage, the Zan. Again, nothing really stopping Hunter. There's never a lot of units together. So even splitting off his production into making me strike max, very little contesting it. Could maybe start putting some pressure onto Arnie now. You can see that Arnie's really expanded into the centre now. We've built all these anti-air turrets. But nothing for these strike mechs. We have to start rallying some mech destroyers that way. Got a lot of land being gained now. With the two armies of Arnie pushing through. A lot more mech destroyers with their crazy upgrade joining the fray. Some gladiator droids from Kassem being built. Maybe they can front line for them. And as I said before, it's sort of a... A base race. Which side can do the most damage first? Survive the most attrition. Workers on this side as well just start dying, I don't know. Soup made too many workers or something. 211, yeah. So this Frost, 213. No population to actually build units. There we go. Plus 9. Got that extra 2 damage now on the units. And so the Mech Strikers have rallied over here. I'm going to be killing these quite quickly. That silly splash attack. As I said before, the map's very open, so heavy strike mech raids could do really good. All these mechs rallying to the death. They've barely got any upgrades versus fully upgraded Zan mech destroyers here. And so trying to help out this side now. Doing everything they can to stop Arnie moving forward. Those glad droids now frontlining for the forces. Like I said, I'm building shield generators and power cores too. These strike mechs trying to get into some annoying spots here in the economy of Arnie. They can kill off his economy, and these guys can just sort of win by attrition. Arnie can't reinforce his forces. Another wave of the Mounties surging forward here. Doing a little bit better on this flank since there was no shield covering it. And there's at the very least some units behind this as well. This is the best Mountie attack we've seen so far. But maybe not the best units for like interceptors that are not really doing anything against this army. John moved to the corner now. They just don't have anything out to stop Hunter though, at all. He's just spawn killing mechs. So I'm definitely joining the fray now though, getting some artillery out as well with these gladiator droids. Quite a lot of them. Colossal gladiator droids now too. Got some good DPS. Pretty bulky too. Do worry for Arnie's economy though. There seems to be very little resistance on this side. I do mean that, not a joke that they don't have a resistance player. Another mounty attack. There's no shields on this army now, though. This could do okay, but again, there is that Imba piercing attack. 
Which makes them do too much damage to uh, mountains. Um, these ones have gone over here for these uh, artillery that Cassem's freshly made. Jedi here from Fluffy Rabbit stealing a Maestro. Strike X from Hunter here, looking for angles to kill off that eco. But yeah, not sure which way this is going to go. I think Hunter's team in general is just a lot more healthier. Because we're not really seeing much out of um, John and Fluffy Rabbit at this point in the game. John seems like he's recovered a little bit and got a few MDs out. It's really going to help these strike mechs that are just surging forward into them. It looks like Frost's morale has gone down a bit as he's saying he can't stop Arnie to his teammates. Got a bit of artillery out here now though. As does Russian. Quite a lot actually if they just got it all together. Not too many assault mechs anymore. Just a few. And Arnie's constantly getting harassed with all these strike mechs surging forward. This fort's just going to be very annoying. Yeah, I think they can just. Keep Arnie from going any further forward, Hunter can then just walk into his base and that's probably it. And the artillery could do a very good job of that, although I don't like how they're stacking up in just this one spot. Maybe one of the elite this mech factor. And these guys maybe want to be in the shields. Could use another shield maybe. It's a decent arc now with a 12 range artillery, gonna get some decent damage onto these units. Arnie is directing his attention now to the uh, forces on the other side. Probably having to do way too much for his team. Hunter's mechs though, holding strong here on these two attacks. So these forces just idle killing a turret though. You should just sort of hug this area. Push up this way. Cut Arnie out of the centre. Make some air cruisers as well. Try to be as annoying as possible and stall this army as long as possible. Arnie's forces are looking pretty scarce now, as a lot of his production has been going to this side of the map now, rallying mech stars against the, uh, the Zan ones here. Troopers out for Kassem now, but not really too much. Oh, he's got some stuff here. He needs to bring it forward and reinforce the front line. They really need to try and kill these like, air cruisers as well. See, the interceptors are front lining for them right now. We'll see if he takes some shots. Gets more damage onto these. here for John, but it's just a little bit too many units here. There's a, oh, there's a cheeky assault mech in there as well. There are more health actually on these, maybe they do run. 25 health each. It's close. 
half these guys are chasing cargoes. One volley the rest. John building a fortress on this side now. Better to just purely focus on stalling Hunter here. It's all getting a bit messy. A lot of stuff from Kissam now. It's really helping out, but the air cruisers maybe going to get some good shots on this army. God, this gladiator droid's pretty tanky. Barely eating those up. Chaos here in the center. A lot of workers from all players basically trying to grab up the carbon and stuff. We now got like advanced turrets or medium turrets rather. The remnants do get the bonuses to like building health and building speed for defensive structures. So you can build turrets quite quickly. It's a good map for them. And at this point, Arnie's kind of just holding on this side, rather than pushing anymore. He tries to deal with Hunter over here. I'm just try to push with turrets here, like it's a frontline game. And Soupjuice just going to resign out of the blue here. I'm not sure why. It's a bit disappointing. Think they were dead at all or anything like that? I don't think it's really over for their team though, they're still in a pretty strong position as it stands. But that could be a bit of a morale boost for Arnie's team. Some heavy troopers, wow. Where's the repeater? Things are just way too good against troopers, though. Good amount of artillery surging forward here from Frost. Hunter is still on the march here. Arnie routed here. Maybe need some turrets over here as well. Turrets be quite good against these units with all the upgrades. They do good damage. Failed many attack there, there's way too many artillery right now. Oh. The 75 health wiki troopers getting in as well, that's huge. Now this is gonna be too much for them. The troopers are gonna trade too well, the wiki troopers are so strong. Arnie's still trying to hold here. Like mounting attack, but there's just so many units. Even got some legacy units from Soup here helping out. Just on their base, Eli there. Even the center fight's still going on. Hunter's team might have it here. These units up. They are uh, sorely needed over here on the front line. Really? 
Yeah, I'm not sure where it's going here. No, it's definitely going to Hunter's Team here, I think. There's just there's just too much out there, players. Uh, by comparison, too few out the other team. And he's done a good job trying to hold every side here, but in the end, that attrition's really hurt. And everything happening in the center, so many workers being killed off. The anti air troopers now look very weird. Oh. Many of them just died. That salt mech. A few MDs from John and Fluffy flanking Hunter's army here. Maybe too little, too late though. Economy looking like it's in Tartars, and so much of the map now belonging to Hunter's team here. Frost and Russian really coming online now. So many units. The wiki troopers being, what are they doing? What on earth? Walking right into the uh, army with his artillery. Fortunately, they were not really aggressive units, they were anti air mobiles and cannons. What a dodgy patrol out of these assault mechs. Not seeing a way out at all for our Arnie's team. Even when they start like maybe trading well on this side, there's just there's still the stuff in the center. And then there's the other side of the map too. Too much for them to have to deal with. Speed it up a bit because it's uh, kind of run its course. Right, there's GG from Kissam, he's going to bail out now. Assuming the rest of the team should follow suit here. He's not quite resigned. Somebody said, Wait, we can win this. I don't think they can. There's the repeaters now for the geos. Pretty cool attack animation. Telling his teammates he's got so much no base bot off in the spine now, so you can see everything on the map. That's always a tilter when you're on the uh, the losing team and you get told that the enemy's spying on you. The mountain's running into the economy now. Be quite devastating. John's managed to get some army out here by the end of the game, but it's a little bit late. Off 
He's just got a few Jedi running around. He'll be converting some assault mechs and stuff, but... In the grand scheme of things, it's not stopping this push. They're going to need to be defeated or something like that. Yeah, this is very, very over. I don't even see like a standing army, really. Army's just building fortresses. I'm giving up on the concept of units. Still got 2,000 over as well. Offensive GG question mark. They've all decided to uh, GG out now. So that'll be the end of it. I hope you've enjoyed that. It was a bit of a long one. Mainly because I didn't really speed it up. But I suppose I did go for an hour 49 game time. Interesting map though, with all the extra ore and stuff. You get to see a little bit more static defense than you normally would but uh gg well played to all the people involved there and um, i hope you've liked the content if you do consider leaving a like on the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment that really helps things out if you want to get involved in these games you'll find our gbg discord link down below you'll find the one for expanding fronts as well which is the mod that this is played on and if you want to help the channel out in another way you can find a paypal link down below and i'll catch you guys in the next video take care bye bye